from the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Stephen Nerens. All right, 844 is our time on this Friday morning. Sunshine from the metro, but look just to the north here on the horizon as we look north from Jinx. Kind of looks a little hazy. That's a low cloud deck that's been impacting our northern counties. Look at the look from Bartlesville. Totally different than what we see in the Tulsa metro right now. You are socked in with some cloud cover. Uh, and the same story to the east of Bartlesville over towards Nawada and Vanita, down towards Grand Lake, and even down towards Pryor. It's going to sink down towards potentially Tahlequah as well. And you can see that in this kind of different display in the infrared satellite, I should say, it has sunk down towards Cherokee County, Tahlequah, uh, Tahlequah Airedale counties as well, northwest Arkansas. That will eventually give way later today, but that cloud that could be pretty stubborn this morning. So north and east of Tulsa, you're going to be under the clouds. West, south of Tulsa, you're going to be a little bit sunnier, quite a bit sunnier for the day. In Tulsa, we're kind of right in between, mostly sunny for the time being, but it wouldn't surprise me if that cloud deck, at least for a time, drifts its way into the metro before uh, kind of thinning out later this afternoon. So high temperatures, it's going to be chilly area wide, but of course the cloudier spots are going to be the coldest. I do think we're going to struggle to get out of the 30s, upper 30s around Miami and Grove, about 40, Vanita, low 40s prior to Tahlequah. And again, those numbers could go a little colder if the clouds don't uh, get out too quickly. Mid 40s in the Tulsa Metro, upper 40s back towards Pawnee County, Creek County, uh, Okfuskey, Okmulgee County, Pittsburgh County, where you're going to see more sunshine today. Tomorrow, very similar to this morning from a temperature standpoint. It will be in the 20s and even upper teens. Light winds, a frigid Saturday morning, but south winds kick in tomorrow. Back above normal into the low to mid 50s. So this is just a brief cool down here. We go back way above normal Sunday into MLK Day Monday with highs climbing well back into the 60s. Late next week, we may start to trend that back down uh, again with some signs of some chillier air showing up. Giving you an idea on the next chance for rain moving into the area. So Sunday morning, south winds strong. Sunday's going to be a windy day. And even with cloud cover, we're looking for highs to push back into the low 60s. You notice a little bit of rain popping up on Future View. St uh, still, unfortunately, this doesn't look like it's going to be a big rainmaker for eastern Oklahoma. We'll have some scattered activity Sunday night into Monday morning. Maybe one or two isolated storms as the front comes sweeping through, but unfortunately, uh, nothing widespread. So a lot of folks are still going to miss out there. By Monday, MLK Day, on uh, Monday morning, we're in the mid to upper 50s and still from some pretty strong winds. High temperatures on Monday in the mid to upper 60s with a westerly breeze. So it'll be a little spring like to start next week uh, and we'll keep that above normal trend going again. So Sunday night, late Sunday and early Monday morning, better chance for a scattered shower and storms in our far eastern counties. But unfortunately, some of us will miss out. Quite a few of us will miss out. Looking ahead to Monday for the parade in Tulsa right now, it's looking really good. Temperatures look nice and mild. Probably be a little bit on the breezy to potentially windy side for the parade on Monday, but it's not looking like it's going to be an exception cold one uh, at, at all, frankly. Seven day forecast. If you missed it earlier, chilly today and then the warming trend for the weekend. Slight chance for the storm Sunday night, early Monday morning. Looks like a maybe a little better chance for storms showing up around Tuesday night into Wednesday.